Thursday night football back at it week two with the fantasy sevens taking on the as Rothian assassins it's me the commish and it's the fantasy sevens gonna return the ball here on this second week of the 2018 season and what a wild week one we did have the as Rothian assassins kicking off to the fantasy sevens Fantasy 7s had a harsh week one. They uh, got hit by a Mack truck that just kept going and going and going. And the Azrothian Assassins, I believe they won their game. I'll have to look that up. Oh, there we go. Tifa Lockhart getting the first down. First and 10 for the Fantasy 7s. Cloud Strife. John Balog saying how much he did not care for Mr. Cloud. Oh, Pass blocked. Incompleto. Uh, second and ten. I like Fantasy, Fantasy 7. I uh, conquered it last year. Uh, I celebrated the 20th anniversary of Fantasy 7. It's the whole reason I bought a PlayStation. Well, I didn't buy a PlayStation. Santa Claus brought me PlayStation. And uh, Final Fantasy 7. That's like all I got that Christmas. It was all worth it. Oh, Sid. What a catch there. Cigarette in hand. First down. Move them chains. Move them markers. All right, here. Cloud handing off to Barrett. Oh, it's the pitch back. Oh, Yuffie with the ball. Can she? Touchdown, Yuffie. Secret character. Cloud. You know, I usually like Yuffie in my party. This last time I didn't didn't put her in. I wanted to spice it up and do something a little different. So. But most of the time I like Yuffie, I like her big boomerang thing that she's got. And she likes to steal things, and so that's always cool with me. I always I always enjoy that. You gotta get those items. And here we go with Ford Ring. Oh. He is one hell of a returner. He's one hell of a I think he's a tight end. Menethil to Hell Scream, Hell Scream. Got some green. First down. I'm a big fan of the Azerothian Assassins. I think that they've got a great team this season. They're going to relive that old magic from 2014, I think, was when they had their really good year, 2015. Whatever year it was. There was a, there was a year in there where the Fantasy 7s were top-notch. Oh, look right there. And they are going to return to the pinnacle of awesomeness with goals and scores like that from Grawl. As Rothian assassins. And here's a field goal. These aren't given anymore. They ain't freebies. Ooh. That was close. Seven. Two. Seven. Yeah, and the Azrothian Assassins did win last week. I was right. They beat the Thunderfucks by three points. So BAM! Barrett Wallace! He is white! So that's something for you right there. First and ten. Cloud Strife. Oh, he doesn't see anybody. He's going to take off. He hit him, man. He's wibbling. He's wobbling. He's got some green. Oh, but he's brought down by it's that sword. It's so big, he's got to drag it behind him. And so they just pick that off. Wow, man. They know how to use swords and axes and spears. Ah, oh, spear right to Lockhart. She tries to punch and kick because that's... How she fights, she punches and kicks. So. But they bucked her up and brought her down. And there's Wallace Barrett. We're going to get to see him in all his whiteness here. Barrett! 13 7. I wonder if maybe all of his offense is white dudes and all his defense is black dudes. I've seen him do that. And there's a field. It's good. 14 7. Fantasy 7s take it up by a score. As one of the weapons kicks it to Ford Ring. Look at him go. Oh man, he's just an amazing athlete. Oh, he got caught there by that defender. He's still throwing people. Still throwing people. You can't give Ford Ring an inch because he will take 20 yards. Ooh, and they contained Hellscream there. This, I think that's the key here this year. Is the, the Azerothian Assassins have gone to a running game. 
Um, they're usually known as a very pass-oriented team, and Grom Hellscream is really, they're going to ride him hard this year. But it's passes like this that I think Sep, ooh, not like that. Not like that. I'm trying to prove a point here, Assassins, and you just fucked me all over there. Because I think that their pass game is where the magic really lies. Especially with a guy like Fordbring. Fordbring! And there's White Wallace. Oh! Oh, he, he was jinxed. They gotta take Barrett out. He broke something. And the dog. Red 13's coming in. And Kate Sith for kick and punt returns. So we'll see how the me mechanical Mog does. Is it considered a mechanical stuff? It's like a stuffed animal. Oh, Tifa Lofkart. That's the first quarter, 14 to seven, and the sevens actually have the ball right now, trying to make this a two-score game. There's the handoff to the Red 13, who only gets a little bit of yards. Third and three. Another handoff to the dog, but he is brought down. He is not as fast as Barrett. They're not much of a run team. They're definitely more of a pass-oriented squad, so bringing in Red 13 does hurt that offense hard. Ford ring returning the ball. He punt returns. He kick returns. He drags people to the 25-yard line. You can't stop him. Well, I mean, they did stop him there. Menethville back. Oh, he hands it off to Hellscream. What a surprise here. Hellscream cutting the corner. He's got some space. He, oh, he throws a man. Oh, but he's brought down. First and 10 at the, what, like 35-yard line? Another handoff to Hell Scream, and they bring him down. Nine yard gain. Second and one. Assassin trying to get into that Evil Dave zone. Oh, Grum Hell Scream wants more than Evil Dave zone. He wants touchdown. Touchdown, Assassin. I mean, really, the question here is, what's what's the better RPG type of game, I guess, right? Like turn-based Final Fantasy VII, or do you like an MMO? Wow. And right now, we are all tied up. So, it's anybody's game, I guess. <laughs> Get it? Game? <laughs> the Lady Leandrin. I think that's a lady. Kicks off to the not-lady Kate Sith. I always thought Kate Sith was uh, female. Uh, growing up, you know, when you first encounter Kate Sith and all of that. And, uh, I understand it's like the cat on top of whatever the bog and all that, but, you know, it's actually the one dude controlling it remotely. So, doesn't that make it a dude? Is Kate Sith a dude? Is Kate Sith a chick? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Oh! Tifa coughs up the ball. That's what I know. Oh, but it was kicked out of bounds by an assassin. Ooh. Third and eight. The Assassin's defense really showing up here. They need one more good hold. Oh, nice throw. Cloud to Tifa. She's able to get the first, get a little extra more. Time is running out here in this first half. We have hit the two-minute warning. Oh, the flea flicker. They had me tricked. Tifa. And they're just relying hard on her. Hard, like the waifu warlord, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bet you she's a waifu warlord. <laughs> Ooh, the lady badge. What a sack. Vashje? Vashje? I think that's what I said. Another flea flick. Ooh, nobody was open there. That was a lucky not interception is what that was. Third and 16. Fantasy 7's having a hard time here. Oh, and that's not going to get much better. Oh, he got the ball off. Red 13 with the ball. He got the first. Wow. What a play by Cloud Strife there. To Red 13, who grabbed it right into his mouth and ran on all fours to make sure he get that first down. And Cloud slamming into defenders. Time going down 27 seconds. This is probably the last play, and then they'll try a field goal. So it's either touchdown or field goal here. Cloud's got a man open, or a woman open. Oh, but he took the sack by Vincent Godfrey. Oh my Godfrey. And so here's the field goal. It's like I said, 12 seconds. Now a little further. Godfrey sent him back a little bit. Ooh, the angle there does not look good. Ouchie, no good. Just too far. I think that was the problem. 
That was that was the problem. Now Menethil gets one shot here with eight seconds left. There's a pass. It's gonna be short yardage. Ooh, interception! One of the weapons. I'm gonna say it's Ruby because I love. It. So that brings us to halftime. So this halftime is brought to you by all the great products that you can buy that have the TFO logo attached. Whether it's Blanca's Electric Company, Luck Potion number nine. Is it Luck Potion number seven? Is that what he's pitching? Is that what you're pitching, Frank? Whatever it is, buy it. It's probably expired. It has the TFO logo, but you know it was fresh at one point. Oh, and Fodbring hitting people to start off this second half. Sometimes I just talk to hear myself talk. There's a sack. Oh, I thought it was going to be a sack. Oh, it's a pass block. Very nice. Fantasy 7's getting in there, blocking a pass, throwing it right back into Menethil's face! Menethil back, throws it. Ooh, diving catch, but not being able to catch it. I guess not a diving catch then, is it? It was just a dive. He just dove, missed the ball. Third and, I think, ten. Ooh, barely getting it off. Oh, he tried to, tried to get it into Windrunner, but one of the Shinruns was able to pick off the ball there. First and ten. Fantasy Sevens now at the 50-yard line. What a... Oh, look. Oh, man, they're trying to bring him down. You can't... Ooh. Vincent Godfrey, that's his second on the day. you got to bring Cloud down as soon as possible. We saw that earlier with that amazing throw he had to rent 13. So you got to make sure that when you're going after Cloud, you're taking him down. Ooh. Threw it to Sid. Third and nine. Cloud could have... It needed a better angle there. Sid really did all the work. Oh, and then we're going to hand off Red 13. Oh, I doubted it, but look at that. That pup's got some moves. First down. I used Red 13 a little bit the last time I played Final Fantasy VII. I like to equip him with a lot of different summons as he's quick. So, speaking of quick, there's Yuffie with the TD. She steals your materia, she steals your heart, and then she boomerangs it right in. Cloud strike always there, right in strike, trying to make up for the game that was last week. Oh my god, he blocked it! That could be the opening that the Fantasy Sevens did not want to see the Azerothian Assassin's game. And Fodbring now, one of my favorite players. Ooh, and those Fantasy Sevens, they know he's dangerous. They're quickly going down there and bringing him. They don't want him to get any sort of advantage or yardage. Hellscream throwing people off. Second and five. These assassins, as I've said before, reinvigorated to me. I think that big things are going to happen for them this season. Ooh, come on. Every time I give them a compliment, I'm going to start saying shit about them. The assassins suck ass. Ass assassins. That's what they should be called. Look at that first down. Wow. And look, and even some more. Hellscream. Maybe that's the whole point of Hellscream. You know, he's evil, right? Maybe he doesn't like compliments. Maybe he wants to hear the bad shit. Uh, the assassins don't want to hear bad shit. They want to hear good shit. They want to hear touchdown. Because they're down by six points. Two minutes left in this third quarter. Third and 16. Fantasy 7's here. They've shown real good promise. Oh, there it is. Can they bring Menethil down? Oh, and they finally get in there. Marlene Wallace with the sack, the premier linebacker for the Fantasy Sevens. That little girl knows how to get in there. And just she just grabbed on to that dude's leg and just waited for the bigger, more confident Shinra soldiers to do their job. So now, Fantasy Sevens, after that horrible punt, will now get the ball almost at the 50-yard line. Oh, an Animantium Rain. Ryan and Stimpy. <laughs> Here's the flea flicker. They love using that flea flicker. Ooh, right to Yuffie. She got caught there, so it's four yards shy. Third and four. This is a big third down for the Azerothian Assassins. Cloud, a little bit of time. Not waiting. Oh, he pitched down to Tifa. I didn't even see Tifa down there. I think, I think Cloud could have easily got the first down, and he looked a lot quicker than Tifa did there. But, you know, sometimes she steals your heart a little bit. You gotta, you gotta give her a football or two. Oh, going deep for Yuffie. Ooh. Risky, risky. Especially they had the open person in the middle. Second and ten. Seven seconds here. Last play of the third quarter. Cloud. Yuffie's open this time. And she gets it in stride. 
Touchdown! What a play. Cloud to Yuffie. Bahamut is up there smiling. The Fantasy Sevens trying, trying their best here. They get the field goal in. Now, now they're up by 13 points. Two scores. Can these assassins answer back? That is a question. And I asked. Oh man, Fodring. Even when he's being brought down, he still makes sure to uppercut a dude like into the fourth row. Oh, Fantasy 7s are on to Hell Scream. I'm telling you, they're down by 13. They need to start launching this ball. There we go. Menethil back. Oh, he, oh my god. Are you serious? Right to Rue? Just. Wow. The assassins are crumbling right before our eyes. And the Fantasy 7s are looking to take advantage. Tipped ball. Hit by the wall. Second and 10. Trying to bring it up for another score. It's just amazing. And another sack for Ryan. Ryan. Big third down here. Cloud reviewing, surveying. Gets it to Tifa, but she was not able to get the first. Very, very shy. So they're going to go for the field goal. They want to take this up by more than two scores. Who? Will it? Is it? It's good! So, Emerald Weapon, Underwater Materia, beat your ass, boy. But unfortunately, WoW doesn't have Underwater Materia, so that's why they're losing. 16 points, so that's three scores now. So, but anything can happen here in the TFO. We have learned that time and time again. And Grom Hellscream, he just needs to break off one good run here. He just needs one good chance. Or Menethil needs to get this ball to someone who can make a touchdown. What are you doing? I know Grog Hellstream is a great superstar, and I know this is a lot of yardage. But are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did you see the open man down there at the bottom? What are the assassins smoking? This has been a frustrating experience for me. I think the assassins are one of the premier teams in TFO this season. And before my eyes, they're having the major meltdown. Just... The Fantasy 7s have taken full advantage of all of this. 30 points right now by them. Redeeming themselves from the matchup last week. The Fantasy 7s really had something to prove here today, and they, uh, I think they did prove what they needed to. Oh, man, and the Jade Weapon. Wow, and the Assassins now 4th and 17, having to go for it after the big sack by Jade. Benethil back. Oh, and it got tipped balled, not even giving them a shot at it. So now the Fantasy 7's looking to get some garbage points here. They're looking to seal the deal. They want to make sure points are important. Oh, couldn't hold on to it. And as much time as they can take off this clock, like I said, anything can happen in TFO, so you need to score. You need to make sure that you stay on top. Because look at that, 3rd and 14. Assassin's holding the ground. Every second that dissipates is in the favor of the Fantasy 7s. Oh, got it to Tifa. Tifa loses the ball. He got picked up. They say he's in bounds. The Prophet, he proclaimed he was going to get that. And he did it. Menethil back now. Could this be gone? Well, Marlene, second of the day. That little girl knows how to get in there. These, these big orcs and warlords and goblins and whatever else is on WoW's team here. They, you know, they're just too big to try to stop this little girl. They just, it's, it's just embarrassing. Now, under a minute, Menethil just, just throwing the ball wherever the hell he fucking wants now. Just, just disgusting. The Lich King is more like the Lich Princess. Sexist of me. I'm sorry. It's so. All right, all right. He'll be. He'll be the lich garbage man. Is that embarrassing? The trash man's on the red rum. I don't know. So. I mean, no offense. Other than to Menethil. 15 seconds here. Fantasy Seven's gonna run out the ball with red 13. Good play. Good. Good. Oh, and look at him. Drag him. Just drag him a little bit further. Cause this game is over. And the Fantasy Sevens have proven. That Final Fantasy is better than Warcraft. Three 
three interceptions by Menethil today. 16% completion. I wonder why they lost the game. I proclaim they had an amazing underrated passing game. I was proven wrong here today. Cloud Strike 257 passing yards finally proven that he isn't a worthless piece of garbage. And that's what matters here in TFO is mattering when the time counts. And the time was really counting for them today. So both these teams are now going to be one and one in this second week of TFO action. Well, thanks for joining me on this Thursday Night Football, and we will see you next Tecmo.